Tight white interior candy apple red lag, bitch. Solid gold snowflakes with that honey gauze is tighter than a sheep's dick. Hitting the switches make the ass jump. Hood tall, solid gold tools with chrome jacks up the ass walls. Smoke do that Jack Town Mac in the caddy. Six fucking 15s hitting harder than a nigga's daddy. Man, I love that, man. man. I love it, bro. White interior candy apple red leg, bitch. Solid gold snowflakes with that honey gloss and tighter than the shit. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. When you go back to to the time when you when you guys did uh, that that super tight. Back, front, back, side to side. Never let hoe ass niggas ride. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and that, that front, back, side to side. Like, just walk me to, up to the point of of. Uh, and I know you went through it somewhat last time, but we had Fino here, so I was trying to juggle, juggle. But for our listeners, like shout out to Fino Rotsi. Yeah, yeah. Just just walk yeah. me up to the point of. Uh, you doing that song in that day? Just let's, let's walk back through that. Um, honestly, bro, back then in, in them days, I had an underdeveloped mind. I smoked a lot of weed, so my memory is kind of cloudy, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna tell you what I can recall. <laughs> Right, like, <laughs> honestly, I'm only being honest. I, I, love, like, I, it. I on, love it. I love it. I love it. Come on, <laughs> just tell me what you remember, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember much about nothing. <laughs> Nigga, I'm from You don't, you don't like no questions. You don't know that now. Come Go on, ahead, man. tell me yeah. what happened up so, to you, <laughs> up to your recollection. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. All right, man. So, yeah. You know, I always got to hit my heart goes back to DJ Bird. Okay. Shout out to DJ Bird because he was the one, he was that transitional person at that time that gave me the confidence to do something that I didn't know I could do or see something in me. Him, Pimp, they all were supportive in that way. And, um, I mean, I went into the booth. Pimp, you know, he, he's a surprise genius tactic type artist. He ain't never going to like nothing. Like, I'm a very skilled MC because of him. Like, he ain't never like nothing. We had the bud bomb, the, the bud room at his house, right? And so, like, you had to be a tough MC to go in there. You know, fun. all of us was there. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, I was tender. I was, I, I don't, you know, at the time then, like, I was, I was fearful of going behind that microphone because I had never did it before. He just showed me out there. Screwed up a couple of times. They had some people there that was doing. They was doing their thing. You know what I mean? I won't get into that because that's like, oh, I don't know who who. But it was some heavyweight people in the in the house, like you know, I could. Which made it more more of a right intense moment. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I want to say fine. I'm trying to guard my (laughs) words, bro. You get. We ain't on the phone no more. We on the phone. No more. Yeah. So yeah, man. Um, yeah, uh, Bird gave me the confidence to go in, and then like when I did it, everybody started cheering. They started so it was cheering. a one take. It was, I, well, by two takes. So you, I think you said, it, it, I don't remember. I think we was doing the one takers back then. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, you couldn't have no time. They had the funny thing. You had to do it one time. So yeah. Did you write it? You wrote it before you well, went in? What it there? was, I, I had pieces of notes that I put together. You know what I mean? Because of being down. And I was trying. Like, I was still trying. And I already decided. The beautiful thing about Pimp and his psychology, the way he vetted people, is that you would still be trying. And you done already did and exceeded way beyond what he wanted you to do. And you That's would still right. be trying. But you saw. And so when you step in the ring or like, you know, f- from my position in, in 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 the unit, like I'm from Jack, I'm, I come from Jackson, so it's a, it's like a more, you know, it's a different place, a different space, and so I just fit right in with the situation yeah. because of the way I was, and so I, it wouldn't be a smoke D without Pimp C. How did you? How did that burst start? Uh, Yo, tight bro. white interior. 
Yeah, because uh, I remember we we could go down through that today. I, I got you now. You been talking to me? We've had a song called "Tight White." We used to have this sing. All of us used to say, "Ski Daddy, but tight white." <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you know, tall. You know, you got yeah. the things that tight white. So the tight white interior, the candy apple red. You know, like at, at the same time, like you know, I just look at myself like in real time, thinking about it right now, like looking at myself now as opposed to who I was back then, bro, like, I enjoyed myself. No, 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 the, the, the verse was cold. I enjoyed myself, I ain't gonna lie, man, going to see, you know, going to New York, different places, being in $5,000 night rooms and stuff, like somebody from Mississippi, come on, man, the bottles were so golden and so I didn't even touch nothing, bro, I was, you know, so, like, Pimp, he, he added something to me, I mean, imagine what I would be a 17-year returning citizen without the smoke D thing. Yeah. I couldn't sit here before you today. So what do you do? You know, it's, it's, it's the song still being rapped, my brother. That's why I'm asking you about it. I'm trying to get down through these verses, it's, man. It's, it's, still, it's still a front back and side. You said want tight right interior with the... Candy. But see, this is what I'm saying, I'm bro. trying to get through this song. <laughs> okay, man. I'm, you want me to do the verse for you? Yeah, give me the verse. Saying, give me the yeah. verse. Okay, tight white interior, candy apple, red lack. See, I'm talking about, I said, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> tight white interior, candy apple, real lag, bitch. Solid gold snowflakes with that honey gauze is tighter than a sheep's dick. Hitting the switches make the ass jump. Hood tall, solid gold shoes with chrome jacks up the ass walls. Smoke D that Jack Town Mac in a caddy, six fucking 15s hitting harder than a nigga's daddy. Man, Listen I love shit, that, man. man. I love it, bro. Tight white interior, candy apple, real lag. Solid gold snowflakes with that honey gloss and tighter than the shit. You dope, man. I, you killed that out of early. How old was you, man? I was 19. 19. Killed it. I, I was at the house listening at that thing. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. I knew the song. I didn't even know you. I was like, I, this, that song went everywhere, man. Man, it did. It like <laughs> it, it changed the trajectory, the trajectory of my life based on the way people started perceiving me. Wow. And they started perceiving me with a miscount of perception. They had no perception. And I was so naive that I couldn't recognize that they started viewing me different. So I had did, I'm a common person that had did something seemingly to the world that was phenomenal, but I stayed in a common mind. And that caused me to go on a journey that made my good be treated real bad. And that wow. made me you know, proficient enough to operate in today because it's the good people that go through a lot of bad that we need. That's real. Like, I had a good heart starting as a child with the world. You can see, like, children now. I'm looking at my son. Uh, I look in his eyes because I see an innocence that still the semblance of that. I can accredit it to that man now. Yeah, yeah. See, when I come back in my son's eyes looking funny and I see that that mother, because, you know, you got to understand we are men. We protected. We have a certain skill set that don't come with talking and running and bumping our mouth. That's real. You know, you have to be able to hear what's not not being said. Bro. That's real. That's real. You know what I mean, that's real. I, you're gonna be a what, real what, protector. What? Like you can't come in here playing. No, you can't. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.